everyone, I'm Devin and this is Mitch and we are Roadside Trippers. We live in Orlando, Florida where theme parks are a way of life. But we also like to explore outside of the theme park, so join us as we explore Florida and the world. day three of our road trip and here's my sister <laughs> this is Lauren I talked her into coming downtown today to go to the European market it's in downtown Chesterton and it's a little farmers market with lots of cool stuff what, what's like what is it's a lot there, of, is there like produce right now there is produce and plants produce and plants let's yeah, go like get crazy what is a <laughs> yeah. this is the first week that they've had the market back to fully open so the last like year they've had it where it's been just in the commerce parking lot but we are back to having it full park as well as on third street so sweet so it's gonna be big excited. yay mitch yay. you're so stoked i'm so stoked <laughs> vanilla almond cold brew latte which they pre-make and this is the only dairy-free option they had so let's give it a taste that's good it doesn't taste like almond milk to me and it's not too sweet it kind of concerns me <laughs> is this dairy no And we're at her restaurant to eat some lunch, so I'm ready to dig into her delicious food. You're gonna be famous. How are you today? Everyone say hi to my cousin Tammy. Hey everyone. If you come to Tiger Lily, tip her well. well. <laughs> Worldwide, Mr. Worldwide. got the smokehouse grinder which is house made seitan and they smoke it in a smoker i'm excited to dig into that with some talks and i got the vegan shrimp po boy with some pasta salad my awesome talented beautiful amazing sister made us the cake you did such a good job <laughs> I love it. Because you're beautiful and handsome. <laughs> beautiful and handsome and all of the things and stuff. So we find ourselves in um, one of our favorite spots to visit when we come home. It's the uh, Century of Progress Houses. There are five houses that were introduced in um, the 1933's World Fair in Chicago. And they were brought here from there. They were purchased by Robert Bartlett and they were uh, shipped over here on barge except for the log cabin, which was uh, dismantled and then reassembled over here. The Weebolt Rostone House was designed by Walter Scholler from Lafayette, Indiana. This Century of Progress home was built to showcase Rostone, an exciting new material billed as, quote, never needing repairs. 
By the 1950s, environmental and industrial extremes caused it to severely corrode. Up next is the Florida Tropical House. It was the only state-sponsored Century of Progress home, commissioned by the state of Florida to lure tourists. It was also the most expensive and luxurious of all the houses, costing $15,000 to build. Moving on to the House of Tomorrow. America's first glass house is also the house that predicted how we would be living in the future. At a time when bungalow and craftsman houses were popular, the House of Tomorrow had floor-to-ceiling glass walls, central air conditioning, an innovative open floor plan, the first general electric dishwasher, an iceless refrigerator, and an attached garage whose door opened at the push of a button. Armco Faro House is the only remaining house from the World's Fair that met the Fair Committee's design criteria. And that was a house that could be mass-produced and was affordable for the average American family. This is the first house using frameless steel construction and an exterior sheathing of porcelain enamel. Unlike the ultra-modern homes of steel, stone, and glass, the Cypress Log Cabin provided a refreshing contrast. It was sponsored by the Southern Cypress Manufacturers Association to showcase, quote, the wood eternal. Cypress is resistant to water and decay. I can't recommend visiting these homes enough. It's located on the beautiful shores of Lake Michigan, and it is a free activity you can do and learn a little bit of history. Hi guys! Um, so today we have plans of just really hanging out with family mostly, so we don't have a lot planned, but we did want to show you this fun statue that is in downtown Valparaiso. Old Uncle Orville. <laughs> so there is a random statue of Orville Redenbacher, but not so random because was he from Valparaiso? I'll have to look into that. I'll add some info. Um, but I don't know if Orville, like the company, was from Valparaiso, if Orville was from Valparaiso. Teepers. They got teeth on the bottom. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you sneeze, bro. You sneeze. 